all to Patanjali and in this video I'm going to explain you the working of binary search tree program in Java. So we know what a binary search tree is as we discussed in the previous video. So binary search tree can be defined with a collection of nodes where we discussed like every node has three parts. We have a data part in the node. Then we have two pointers to store the address of left and right. If we would have been making this in C or C++, then we have to use the pointer notation symbol over here. But in Java, by default, all the objects are reference variables. That means they store addresses. So there is nothing like pointer specifically in Java. But every object itself is a kind of pointer which stores the address of a location. So we have defined this class and I have given it a name node. You can give whatever you want as per the requirement but say we have given it a name node now inside this i have three elements one is an integer part for storing the data and the other two are left and right which are of the same type this is also of type node so this is node this is node these are called self-referential members that means left and right will store the address of a location which will further have three parts that is the data left and right so this is the basic definition of a node for a binary search tree. Now let's go for the class. We are defining a class BST over here. This BST class is for binary search tree. A tree is identified by its root. So we have to take only one object over here root which will store the address of the first node of the tree. So this will always hold the address of first node in the tree. This is your constructor where I have initialized root with null. Now we have to do insert function. How do we insert a value in a binary search tree? So this is the code for function insert. So I have public void insert public so that it can be used anywhere outside the class as well. It's not returning anything so it's void. The name given to the method is insert. And we are receiving an integer parameter or argument which is the data part which I have to add in the node. Now what we do inside this, first of all the main thing is to create a node, to allocate the memory where you are going to store the node data. So for that we have taken two reference variables, one is temp and one is ptr. Temp here I am using to allocate memory for the new node, so I write temp is equal to new node. Now this line will create a new memory location and the address of location goes to temp. And that location we have three things, we have data, we have left, we have right. So temp.data is assigned with the value passed to the method. So value goes in the data part. And since it's a new node, it will not be having anything on the left or on the right. So we put null on both left and right side. Now our node is created. We have created a node. The next step is to put it at the right position in the tree. We have to find the right location and just put that address in the existing tree. So first of all, we check if the tree is already existing or not. If root is null, if root is null, that means there is no node in the tree. That means it's kind of non-existing tree. So whatever node I have created, that should become the root. So that's why we assign temp to root and nothing afterwards execute in this function. So that new node which we just created becomes the root and the function is over. Now, if the root is not null, if it is all, if some value is already there, then we have to find the correct location where to insert. For that we come into the else part. Whatever is the address of root that goes to ptr. And I have taken a loop which works till ptr is not equal to null. In binary search tree we know that we insert the greater value on the right hand side and smaller value on the left hand side. So I am checking the same thing as we discussed in the algorithm earlier. So if value is greater than ptr data that means it should be on the right hand side. But for that, right side should be blank. So we check if ptr right is null. If this is also true, means you've got the correct location. Just put the address stored in temp in ptr right and you're done. So break. But if there is already something on the right hand side, then we move the pointer to the right. We come to that right node and the whole process of checking again will be repeated from here. Then we check again whether the value is greater than or less than the new location of ptr. So this is how it checks for the right thing. Similarly, it checks for the left. If value is less than PTR data, we check if PTR left is null, means if there is 
a space we put temp in ptr left and the node is inserted so we break we don't continue further but if left is already occupied then we move the pointer to the left hand side and recheck the conditions from here in case the values are same as we have discussed that the duplicate values are not allowed in a binary search tree so if these two conditions are false then it's obvious then the numbers are same we just print duplicate values are not allowed and we break the loop so this loop helps me to find the correct location where my value should be inserted and attach it either on the right or on the left of the the node where which should become the parent of the new node which we are inserting so that's how insertion is done in a binary search tree now we cannot print a tree like we used to print arrays or linked lists so we need traversal orders for printing tree so we have three type of traversals that's pre order in order post order i'll be discussing the traversals in detail in the next video but for the time being we have these recursive procedures for all these three traversals the basic meaning of pre order is that you process the root first then process the left side and then process the right side in order means we process the left in between we process the root and then we process the right and post order is first process left right and then the root so this is just a brief introduction we'll be doing it in detail later on now this is a function traverse from where i have called all these three traverses so pre order traversal i have passed root then in order traversal and post order traversal so this is the code for my binary search tree now i need to make a class which will actually call these functions so that i have done over here so this is my class having the main function which will actually call those methods which we defined in the bst class so here what i have done is i have taken an object of bst bst was the name of my class and this lower case is my name of the object and give the option to the user like if user presses 1 i have to add a new node if user presses 2 i have to view the traversals and 3 is for exit in case 1 we have just asked the user the number to be inserted so user asks like enter the number to be inserted user gives the value and we call insert function in the binary search tree passing the value which has to be inserted in the tree then case 2 is for showing the traversal so we are just calling bst dot traverse which will further call all three traversals and display the three traversals on the screen case 3 is to break case 3 should end the code and if user presses some invalid option like out of the three options then we just print invalid selection so this loop will continue until user presses 3 let's execute the code so i run this file and in the output window it asks me what i need to do i press 1 i have to add a number let's say the first number is 60 this becomes the root i press 1 the next number is 25 it should come on the left of 60 i press 1 then i enter 90 this should go on the right of 60 then let's say we insert one more number that is 50 it's less than 60 so it should be on the left but on left we already have 25 so it should be on the right of 25 now let's see the traversals So pre-order traversal is 60 is on the root, then on the left of 60 is 25, on right of 25 is 50, and then 90 is on the right of 60. To make sure that you are getting the correct traversals, just check the in-order traversal. Whenever we get the in-order traversal of a binary search tree, it's always a sorted list. You can see 25, 50, 60, 90. So in-order traversal of a binary search tree always generates a sorted list. If I insert 12 and I traverse again. You can see the in order traversal. It's 12, 25, 50, 60, 90. 90. So these traverses, I'll be explaining in the upcoming video. I hope you understood how this code is working. In case of any doubts in this code, anything it's not clear to you, or you want to ask something related to this, do write in the comment section. I will get back to you. You can also tell me in the comment section if any other specific video you want. I'll be updating it very soon i hope you understood the concept if yes do like the video share with your friends and subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed yet thank you